All right, everyone. Today, I wanted to get into a big topic that seems like has been getting bigger and bigger over the last few days because more and more people have been getting to this point in the game, and that is a massive vertical progression roadblock that you're going to get to as you get to an item level of about 1340. And what you can actually do when you end up getting to this point, how are you going to overcome it? What are the different paths that you can kind of take once you get to item level 1340 and why there's actually a couple of different options that you kind of have on the table. And it doesn't mean that you necessarily have to keep progressing one certain way. And I'm gonna tell you guys how I plan on overcoming this myself because as more and more people have gotten to this point in the game, I'm about to get there. I'm still a few item levels short, but 1340 is a huge roadblock because getting from 1340 item level to 1370 item level, even though it's only 30 item levels, a lot of people have been comparing the amount of effort of getting from 1340 to 1370, which is just those 30 item levels, to actually more difficult than the entire efforts of getting from item level 1 up to 1340. So those 30 item levels are massive. It's a huge challenge. And this is when you're really going to start to notice that your honing rates are going to go down significantly and the amount of resources that it's going to take in order to go from 1340 to 1370 is tremendous. Now, there's a couple of different paths that you could actually take here, and there's a lot of discussions that a lot of people have been talking about on, you know, kind of solutions to this. Is Amazon Games, is are they going to actually do anything? Are they going to boost the honing rates? Because it seems like right now Argos is just so limited to how many people can actually access it. And it seems like most free-to-play players are, are not even close to the point yet where they can access this content. And a lot of people are um, very upset about this and are wondering, is Amazon going to actually do anything? And I think that there is a very big chance that within the next month or two months, there's going to be some sort of boost to holding rates, but nothing is confirmed. Nothing is guaranteed. I would be very surprised though if they continue to let this be a struggle because the last thing that you want is a barrier just to access content in the game. Like it's not a good look to make it seem like you have to spend money on the game just in order to access content. And I think that as they release more stuff in the future, there is a very strong possibility that they are going to increase the honing rates to make it easier for people to um, access that Argos content. But there's a word that I used earlier on that is very important that I emphasize. And this is a vertical progression roadblock. There's still plenty of things that you can actually do in the game that are still gonna be very important and you're gonna have to work on them sooner rather than later. Um, but they're not vertical progression. Vertical progression is just your item levels, basically. Like how high can you push your item levels to unlock new content, to unlock your Abyss dungeons, and to unlock Argos, your raids, new guardians, uh, all that sort of stuff, unlocking new chaos dungeons. That's all going to be your vertical progression. But horizontal progression is still stuff that is very important. And it's also stuff that is going to help out all of your alts in the future. And at some point, you're going to have to do it. It's not like you can really put it off forever because if you're going to want to perform at high level content in the future, you're going to need to get a lot of stuff done. And this is something that I really need to step up. And I highly recommend that one path that you can take as you get to an item level of 1340 is instead of pushing too high on your item levels with those really low honing rates, maybe possibly wait, hold off on your materials for the possibility of them uh, bo boosting honing rates in the future when more stuff comes out uh, so that you can get more efficiency for your materials and really start to go back and work on a lot of that horizontal progression. Things like your collectibles, working on your island tokens, your Makoko seeds, working on your adventure log. That's a really big one that I really need to get to work on because my adventure log is in very rough shape here. This is all stuff to get in order to get these Ignea tokens and then you've got all these skill point potions. Like these are all going to be very, very important later on. And so when you get to this roadblock, if you don't want to feel like you're wasting resources and wasting all that time and effort to just push a couple of item levels, this is all stuff that you can work on that you know guaranteed this is going to be useful later on. Now, another thing that I highly, highly recommend, and this is the strategy that I am going to take, is once you end up getting to an item level of 1340, um, I'm not going to indefinitely, like I'm never going to get to 1370, but a strategy that I've decided to stick to is what I'm going to do is once I get to 1340, I'm just going to hold off and not use any of my honing materials. I'm just going to keep piling them up and I've got a very nice stockpile here. I could probably get to 1340, no problem, like right after recording this video, but I'm going to wait at 1340 until I save up enough honing materials to end up making the push all at once 
to go from 1340 to 1370. And what I really want to avoid doing, and I highly recommend that you guys consider doing something like this. It doesn't have to be exactly the same way that I'm doing it, but just so you can get the general idea here, is what you want to avoid is working from 1340 to 1370. There's nothing that really unlocks from 1340 to 1370. It's a tremendous amount of effort, even though the actual number of item levels, it's only 30. It's still an insane amount of effort. And so the difference of getting to like 1365 or even 1369, there's no difference between 1369 and 1340. Uh, you know, it's it's really, unless you are confident that you can push right over that 1370 number and unlock Argos, there's really no reason to go any higher than 1340. Now, why is this going to be a big advantage in your favor? Well, there is a very strong possibility that they are going to uh, increase honing rates and make it easier to push from 1340 to 1370 in the future. So if you actually hold off on saving your materials until you're confident that you can make that push, if there's any chance that they end up releasing this update in the near future where they actually do end up boosting the honing rates, you've just saved all those materials and you just saved yourself a massive, massive amount of effort. Now, if you end up just pushing your gear, like whenever you get the materials, just uh, you know honing right as you get it, if you end up getting to 1360, 1365, or even 1369, and you're really close to 1370, but you don't end up getting there, and then all of a sudden they end up releasing uh, uh, an update that increases the chance to hone your stuff, you're going to feel like all of that effort ended up being wasted because there's really no difference in you being 1360, 65, or 69. You could have just stayed at 1340 the entire time, saved all those materials, and basically your progress, your account, you would have felt like you were in the same spot either way. So I would highly, highly recommend that not only do you guys end up working on more horizontal progression stuff like island tokens, Makoko seeds, other collectibles, Ignea tokens, adventure log, uh, rap war. Uh, there's so much other horizontal progression that you can always be working on in this game. Not only do I recommend that, but I also recommend that when you get to 1340, you consider maybe holding off on your resources and seeing if you can make that push all at once. Now, if I get to a point where they haven't increased honing rates and there has been no update, and I feel like I have enough materials even with the current honing rates right now, to go from 1340 to 1370 all at once, I'm still gonna do it. But I just don't wanna end up in a situation where I go from like 1340 to 1365 and it feels like all those resources and effort were wasted because there's just really no difference until you cross over that 1370 mark. So those are the two things I really wanted to bring up in the video, just kind of my perspective and my approach to how I'm gonna be doing this. And I just wanted to kind of talk about it because it's a big discussion and uh, open up the discussion to you guys. So what do you guys think? How are you gonna be handling this situation going forward in the future? Uh, what are your plans in the game when it comes to progression? Where are you guys at? What are you working on? And I think that's going to be it for this one. So thank you guys all for listening. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a quick like. Feel free to subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future. And feel free to check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash salt, where I'll be streaming Lost Ark as well as other games. Thanks again, everyone. Take care. And until next time.